Sexual misconduct stories have exploded lately. Experts are saying that you can use these stories as a learning experience. They say now is the time to talk to your kids about what's appropriate touching and what's not. Trevor Shirley explains how the Harvey Weinstein case prom prompted a 10-year-old girl to tell her mom about alleged inappropriate behavior done to her by a lawmaker. No parent ever wants to think their child could be molested. It's getting to be outrageous on the numbers of, of kids who are abused today. But experts say talking to your kids about that very subject is something every parent has to do. There's not necessarily a certain age. You just want to set the stage for the conversation to keep occurring as the child gets older. Sandy Runkle DeLorme of Prevent Child Abuse Indiana says discussions can progress and naturally get more sophisticated as a child grows. Start opening up uh, some conversations based on the child's development and that's up to the parents. But as some parents we talk to admit, it's not always an easy discussion to have. It's uncomfortable, but it is important. One of Laura Grogan's daughters just learned about appropriate and inappropriate touching at school. She and her husband William say it's something they take seriously. We joke about it, you know, all this will never happen to us, but it happens everywhere. And experts say what's happening around us can also influence kids to speak up. Court documents show one of Jeff Miller's alleged victims, a 10-year-old girl, told her parents that he'd massaged her inappropriately after seeing news coverage of Harvey Weinstein. That's always positive to be able to use some of these uh, unfortunate events that have been occurring uh, as a teaching moment for for children. Court documents also say Miller was friends with both of his alleged victims, something experts say all parents need to keep in mind. When a child is perpetrated against, it is almost always by somebody the child knows. Jeff Miller is a Republican politician in Indianapolis. He resigned Friday after being accused of molesting two girls at his home.